don't you get up and walk down this street and ask some of these people down here if they wanted some help? I mean, have you asked anybody in this city if, if they'll give you a job? What time is it? There's hundreds of businesses in this city. It's beyond the hour, though. It's beyond the hour. It's only like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Every business in this city is open. Why don't you give me a break? Have you asked anybody... It's beyond the hour. Have you asked anybody in this city if they wanted a, if they needed I any help? I have been here too many times. I'm just passing Okay, this through. says, homeless, short of food, and that's exactly please help, food. thank you. What kind of help and do you want? God you want? You. Don't forget okay, that. what do you want? Do you want somebody to just give you money, or do you want somebody to give you a job? Look, man, it's up. They're fully persuaded in their own minds. What? What are you talking about? Let them be fully persuaded in their own mind. Let them be fully persuaded in their own mind. Exactly. That's what the Bible teaches. What? I believe in Jesus, my... Okay, well, that's great. I, yes, I, I receive him as Savior. Great. Why What's the problem? Why do you want people to give you something here? Because maybe maybe I don't feel like going to work. Okay, maybe that's Maybe you don't feel like going to work. Maybe. You're asking... you got a sign here that says homeless. It said nothing about work. Short though. of food. Please help. Thank you. Well, but you don't want to work. If it's the right job, I'll work. If it's the right job. What kind of job? Punch press. Punch press. That's the only thing you can do is punch press? I appreciate that kindly. I'll do that for the rest of my life. There are probably... I'm not dealing with no there are probably dumb shit. And I ain't going to go yank somebody's stuff out of pink thousands of weeds. Well, if it pays money for you to be able no, to live somewhere... That won't go. No. I, I am not a slave. I'm a man. I'm You're a not a slave? Wait a minute. Uh, I mean, if you can get a job where they pay you a salary for you yeah, to be Dad, able... You're talking about yourself now. I'm talking about you. No. You, if you, you get a job that pays you a salary to enable you to go get an apartment and have a place to live and put food on a table... I'm a magician. I'm, you're a magician? Yeah. Well, you want to see a card? You want to see a trick? A card I'll trick? Prove, no, not a card trick. I'll prove it to you. Right off the bat. No hassle, no problem. I don't. I don't understand why you're not up... No, no, you're no, looking no, down no. this street for a I job. Skip the noise. Got me up on my computer. You're, I'll tell you what, you're you're drunk. No, I'm not. You're really you're drunk. You're mistaken. I'm not. You can drunk. hardly stand. What's your name? Spillinger. What's your first name? Joseph. Joseph. I want to show you a trick. Joseph, how much have you had to drink? Not a, not. Don't worry about it, man. You said so you're hassling. You said somebody gave you money earlier. Yeah, right? It's not enough for the motel room. Okay, though. and you bought booze with it. No, I had booze from yesterday. Where'd you get the booze from yesterday? The other dude took off on me, my partner. Man. Where did you where did you get the money to buy the booze? Way down south here. What's, well, wait a minute. It's called uh somebody give, 50th. Somebody give you the money. Somebody give you the money because you I were bought food with it though. I bought steak and eggs and steak stuff. and eggs and booze. Hey look, I'm on the street, man. It's cold. It's getting chilly a little bit now. What? It's 80 degrees out yeah, here. Yeah, but you sleep outside with your just your shirt and your thing on. You watch how chilly it gets. How much booze did you? This is 3 o'clock in the afternoon, well, and you're, do you're way thing. over the limit. Let me show you. You are really intoxicated. Let me improve to you what I can do. I'm not a, not a trickster or nothing. Okay. Step here, and I'll step there. Go ahead. Well, I'm going to get in the shade, man. That's okay. Uh, seeing as how you're so cold, I think getting in the shade no, would be a good idea. Right there is cool. Uh-huh. At the count of three, something magical is going to happen. Yeah. Now watch. That's black, right? By the way, when you see the cops, tell them they're looking for that guy. Uh huh. <laughs> well, oh, that's make good. Laugh a little bit. All right. Ready? One, two, three. See the magic comb is vanished. Not really. See, it's right here. Pretty good. Yeah. A little bit of sleight of hand, huh? Hold up now. Mm-hmm. That was a black cone, right? Huh? It was a black cone. Mirror, you mean? The mirror. Yeah? Yeah, right. it was black. It's yellow now. Is it? Let's see. Now it's gone. Yeah? That's pretty good. Not bad for a rookie, huh? Well, why don't you look for some kind of job as a magician? I'm working on that, you know what I mean? But What's still, your first name again? Joseph, you want my Joseph. ID card? Nah, Joseph, I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna bother you for your ID. You sure? Yeah. You aren't wanted anywhere, are you? Oh, 
Of course not. They don't want you. You don't have any warrants out for your arrest. Check. Just want to check. I want to find out anyway. You want to find out anyway? Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Just give it to you. Get the dumb stuff. I just, I, I just don't know why when. When there are so many businesses that are looking for employees. I hear you, I hear you. And you don't want to work. And then when somebody does come I'm along. A magician. When I somebody does come you. along and they give you food, uh, you spend it on booze. To the point where no, you're, you're. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. What are you on that radio? Yeah, I'll be stopping, uh, over to three. 1624 radio. Yeah, some homeless guy on Bagley and Beach with a beggar sign. Would you run him, please? His sock number is 286-64-6900. Should come back to a Joseph Fillinger. Yeah, How long you been out of work, Joseph? A while. How long's a while? I'm a magician, I told you. No, I know you're a magician. You said you're a punch press operator, too. Yeah, too. Uh, Homeless, short of food, please help. Thank you. So that's not, the, that's not against the law. I don't know. I don't know what that means. That means, you know, help me out if you would. Are you soliciting for money? You asking no, for money? No, that's not solicitation. Solicitation, or I said, can I have a couple of quarters, please? That's not solicitation. Come on, give me a break. There's probably 600 businesses down here, and you haven't been to one of them to ask them if they need any help. I mean, you could get a job. I'm a punch press. Well, there's a whole bunch of businesses up here on Front Street that, that machine shops, all kinds of machine shops. You walk up Front Street, you can hear the punch press is gone. Why don't you walk up there and ask them if they need any help? You don't want to do that? No, I didn't say that. You did. Why don't you do that? Where? Right up here at the second traffic light, that's Front Street. You turn right, you walk up there, and there's all kinds of light industry. There's all kinds of punch press places. All you, you got to do is walk in and say, hey, I'm a punch, I'm a qualified punch press operator, and I want a job. I, I respect you, what you're saying, you know. But, uh, but, excuse that but, you know. I'm a magician, as I said. Okay, you're a magician. I want to be a magician. I want to do be a magician in my life. Okay. Look, here's another trick. Right? Now you're homeless because you don't. You, you, Come on, give me a break. You, no, you're 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 pleading with the public here, I saying can't that you're homeless. I the public though. You're saying that you you're homeless. My, what do you want me to change my sign to? Amateur magician, please give me a break. Here's my number. Well, you know that wouldn't work as well, would it? Well, why would? Because people don't feel sorry for. Out of work magicians. Yeah, but amateur I do magicians. a good job, though. They feel sorry for the if homeless, I do and that's a good what job. That's if what I can you're finish to do. a billiard ball. That's what you're trying to if do. If I can finish a beer ball with my sleeves rolled up, and you can't find out where it's at, that's worth money, right? Joseph, you know, technically, you are in violation of law right now. You're, you're, you're intoxicated to the point where I've I been don't... up to the off ramps before, and they never harassed me. Okay, well, you're, you're in Berea now. Well, that's Berea up there. All right. It's Middleburg Heights. Go ahead. Nothing in file. Okay. You ever had a driver's license? Thank you. How old are you? 35. And you never had a driver's license? I, I, I didn't I didn't want to take up driving. You didn't want to take up driving? I should have driven a check for Hey, Joseph, you missed your calling. <laughs> Why aren't you out there beating the bushes trying to get jobs as a magician? I'm lazy. That's You're lazy. Ah, uh, well, I'll tell you what, Joseph, honesty is the best policy. I'm going to leave you alone. Well, I appreciate it. All right? You. I don't know how much money you're going to get here from people, but I'll tell you what, in my opinion, I think it's wrong that you sit here and prey upon the sympathies of people and then take their money and go buy alcohol. I think that's wrong. I think it's morally wrong. Well, didn't I just entertain you? Huh? Didn't I just entertain you for free? For free? Yeah. I think you ought to start looking for jobs. And then I you, hear you. I then, hear you. Then you get a paycheck. I hear you. Have, 24. Yeah, but it's too, 24. It's too long, man. Get the car to three. Go ahead on three. You probably ought to QW that guy. It's a DS. 
Yeah, I just found out he's never had a driver's license. Bell Joseph. Mindful residence. I'm going to leave you alone here. No, man. If you want me to move, you ask me, man. No, I'm not going to I just want to be, make sure that you know that I know and you know I know and you vice versa that I'm clean. You know, I'm uh -huh. not an outlaw. Yeah. I didn't say you were an outlaw. I never said you were an outlaw. Take care of yourself, Joseph. All right, thank you.